Good afternoon, welcome to Pom Dits on Flip TV. I'm Christian Chiku, and with me is my guest and my ogre and everything. Uh, Comrade Idu Israel. Yes, uh, so many controversies trailing uh, the resignation of uh, the former or ex chief justice of Nigeria, Tanko Mohammed. Uh, we're having a new uh, CGN, uh, we're having calls uh, that he should uh, sanitize the judiciary we are asking a question this afternoon uh, did he resign or he was forced to did, did he resign voluntarily or he was forced to resign we are also going to be looking at other other topical issues huriwa uh, a muslim wing uh, human rights uh, writers Association of nigeria had uh, called the arrest of uh, the chief justice of nigeria tanko Mohammed, after he resigned as the cgn they are saying that his resignation is not uh, uh, only acceptable, but his arrest will be totally acceptable. We are going to be looking at uh, Kano has been denied bail. Uh, he, he wasn't able to uh, prove to the judge that he didn't jump bail uh, the last time he was in court and went uh, to the United Kingdom. We are also going to be looking at uh, Akhil Dulu's uh, report. Uh, and also his stance on uh, the insecurity in Nigeria. Zanfara State Governor has uh, asked his people to opt uh, for self-defense. Why the Ondo State Governor, uh, Ogbeni, is he Ogbeni? Yes, Ogbeni. Ogbeni, uh, Akiri Dulu. Wrote to me, he's saying that he wants, uh, he prefers state police over um, self-defense. What's your take? Which one are we starting with? State police, self-defense. Mm, rationally, it should be state police, but, uh, we Rash rationally. rationally. Safe, uh, safe, uh, state police is better, it's more preferable, you understand? It's more organized than self defense, you understand? Rationally. But like I said, like we've always said, we live in a zoo, you understand? We live in the jungle. Nothing is rational here. And on the other hand, state police has not been institutionalized, it has not been legalized in no, the country. It, it, you it, understand? It, it, it making a call. What we have is just a, a regional police in, in form of a you understand which i think is uh, working so far so good in the southwest so like i said rationally it ought to be state police over self-defense because if you say self-defense if you allow people to start carrying guns you understand so many things will go, will go bad because people we out of flimsy excuses pettiness even a uh, Snatching of boyfriend and girlfriend, you understand? You can just you uh, want to make a you wish. step on my toe, take, take apologize. You didn't apologize. I'll just bring out my gun and. But despite that fact, down. despite that fact, <coughs> there is still uh, insecurity. This, the, what happened in Bariga? The high level of insecurity is what is calling for uh, the Matawale solution, and the Matawale solution is what you have when the chips are down, when the center is no longer holding when the government can no longer protect the people which is the primary aim the primary job the main business of governors is securing life and properties of the people and when government is unable to do that when government be became and uh, becomes in 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 incapacitated you understand when things are no longer working then you you prefer self-defense but i see danger in the self-defense because we are not seen we are not seen people you understand people who are the people that are not seeing people we are not saying nigerians generally you understand we have more madmen working on that cloth you understand than seeing people rather that are not among politicians like, you, ordinary, you know, Niger ordinary nigerians you understand majority of nigerians are mad because of you understand what and what they are facing every day so when you now when you now communicate it by now allowing them to carry guns you understand ordinary anger ordinary mm -hmm. so i i am not totally um I, I, let me say i'm in support of state policing you understand ahead of self-defense because the adverse def effect of self-defense will be monumental will be too i don't bad think I don't, I don't agree with you it depends on what uh, you defend yourself with dino melaye dino melaye posted a video yesterday and uh, i begin to wonder if truly we don't need the self-defense ahead of state policing you understand in america there was a church service yesterday i saw the video i will send the video to you dino melaya sent it yesterday and it was trending there was a church service and the church was streamed uh, in, in america in u.s the church 
was streaming live, you understand? And they have CCTV cameras and everything. And suddenly, before you say a louver, a man stood up and brought out a gun and shot a pastor, you understand? But before you know it, three other persons from the mm -hmm. church brought out their gun and they shot him down. They killed him right there, you in understand? The in, the, in the church, inside the church. Somebody was wounded. They didn't allow him to go away, you understand? And that happened because they were armed. But adventure it was nobody was armed in the church and he shoot as he shot like that everybody you understand you can even kill more than one or two people you understand but he was gone down and what is that telling you it is telling you that that quotation that from the days of john the baptist the kingdom of god has survived violence and the violence overcome it by force is about to play out in our polity and we seem helpless we seem incapable of doing it because our leaders have proved to be insensitive to our plight and people can no longer be dying like fouls every day and that is for a, a, a old chief security officer of a state to come out emphatically and say that that means they should, are failed in their own they responsibility are failed in their own responsibility they are, they are helpless and it is not only him it is applicable to virtually a all the 35 other was, was abducted uh, yes just in today fact. in front of in front of the station a DPO was kidnapped in front of the station and the equal and the kidnappers, the bandits still use his phone to contact the station to be demanding for ransom. And that is the state we are in. When a divisional police officer, you know, a whole DPO who, who may be from the rank of inspector and above, you understand, can be kidnapped in daylight, then what of us that are helpless Nigerians? So resorting to self-defense may not be a bad idea after all but the, the 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 ripple effect of it is what i don't think we are prepared to have because it will be too bloody so now the ondo situation uh, how do they go about it because it seems that uh, uh, it seems we are surrounded by uh, the fulani uh, militia i can not look from all indications i said that all almost all our forests in the south because west have already cannot be you understand we have all been in Amotaku, they, they, are, they are carrying arms now, they carry guns. Don't you know? Amotaku carry guns, not den guns. So what can you do with den guns? When well, you are faced with people carrying AK-47, now we are even hearing that some of those Fulanis now are arming themselves with AK-49, a more sophisticated arm than AK-47. And that is to tell you that some persons somewhere are making real cool money from this business of banditry, kidnapping, and terrorizing the nation. So, since we are helpless, since we cannot, uh, since uh, government cannot do anything to protect us or to provide an adequate security force, then it behoves on us to take up arms and protect ourselves. Mm, okay, yes, sir. Uh uh, for me, uh, what I would think is that I prefer the, if there's a solution that uh, we can employ it, make, making sure that uh, we are safe, uh, it, it doesn't get to us. Yes, the, the, the problem is the problem is uh, putting putting weapons in the hand of wrong persons, you understand? Because when you say the essence of buying gun is to protect yourself, some other persons, the criminal Even activities... Even when the security and, goes yes, down. Yes, there will be an increase in everything bad because other persons will not use it for the same purpose of securing and protecting themselves and that's the danger in us i mean ourselves but this is not this is this is to them this to the uh, the, the the fulani headsmen and our northern brothers this to them is nothing you understand because since we've known them you can never only can you see a Fulani or an Hausa man that is not carrying a weapon. It's part of the address code. You understand? They yes, must have code. yes. Now they must have scabbard. <laughs> they have scabbard. They have knives. They permit. You understand? So they, it, it has been they, part they, of they them. Being searched and arrested. It, yes, as a, as the, a normal person. They will do it. They will do it openly. If you take any uh, any form of. Uh, of uh, ammunition like that. as a normal person you will be arrested as a normal person so, you'll be intimidated by police but them the police are uh, if have even seen it as part of their of the address code because you see the friend is carrying a uh, matches in the middle in the middle of the road walking freely openly that's why the fact that that's why the fact that you have government you have police you have institutions they have been known to kill to killing people they have been known to killing people but you see allow them to carry arms openly so if you are now saying they should you understand legalize it then they have been doing it before 
all this why so legalizing it to them means nothing it now means they will now be more brutal against us the helpless ones because it is not everybody that can even afford to buy a gun what will you, you say understand? about uh, people uh, people around that badagri area what uh, badagri yes. bariga is it bad badagri, badagri? badagri watching helplessly while these uh, Fula, fulani headsmen Mall that conductor. That is that is that has always been our problem. And, and afraid. yes, yes, they are. Ye yes, they are. We are more afraid. In fact, in, in in this kind of our world now, you see situations where people that are supposed to help or rescue anybody that finds himself in an unfortunate circumstance, you see them uh, uh, videoing. No. They will start recording. You understand? Why you because, need help? Uh, why the person needs help? So what happened there is a similar case of. Yorubas, you understand? Yorubas are known to, they say we only have mouth, you understand? And that may not be far from the truth, you understand? Because I'm a Yoruba man too. And you know, so a, it, it, a depends, Yoruba man, it depends on it, the civilization. The civilization. In this area, people will tend to mm, mind their business. Consciousness, you, know, you not, understand? Not, uh, uh, consciousness, civilization that you are saying is what is killing us. Because so, it, somewhere because on those states. Because you, you, this you, thing cannot happen. This thing cannot even happen in Ibadan. You understand? It cannot happen in Ibadan because you, you say civilization, civilization when your brother is being mauled by people and you are helpless because you don't want it to degenerate into an ethnic clash or you don't want. You understand? See the way that uh, Oka, uh, that boy was uh, killed by the Okada, the one that led to the eventual burning of Okada yeah. two months ago. That was how people were helpless, helpless watching him, and exactly the same thing pound out so it builds more on us to become a a, a a brother's keepers you understand it builds more on us to be more conscious of our environment it builds more on us to to to, to care for our fellow brothers if we have that kind of unity amongst us there will be no discord if there is no discord then we'll be our brother's keepers and we have less of this crisis i mean brimming because when they know when they see that that is that is what they enjoy over us that is what they, the northerners they enjoy that over I us. Heard that if, when, are, if anything if are, is if, happening to if the northerners, them, if you have anything, they don't even police, want to ask. They don't even want to ask what happened, what transpired. They don't even want to know whether their person is right or wrong. But the moment they see you fighting their tribesmen, they yeah, all of them out the joy, they are out for the killing for your jugular, and that is what we don't have. And we we always want to rationalize uh, what happened. Uh, yes, now police are always helpless. You understand because that's why they see themselves as a, a, a what do you call it? government children home or job. You understand? They know that police will not do anything, and that's why when you have cases of uh, 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 these people caught in an act and taken to police station, before you know it, you understand? You see, they are big men in thousands now. They will come bring money. And before you know it, police will compromise and the criminal will be released and you see him walking free on the street the following day. And you now be more afraid, you understand? Because somebody that you try to put in jail for an offense, you see him walking freely. You don't expect him to be happy with you. And that is the situation we find ourselves. Everything in the country is compromised and the center is not holding Okay, let's all. look at the CGN, uh, the controversies uh, behind his resignation. Some people say that uh, because of the allegation of a uh, corruption that's why he resigned i don't know what's your take it is it is very funny in fact when i first saw the caption that uh, cgn resigned you understand I, I i i called a friend that come for the first time you are going to buy me a bottle of beer you understand he said well i said because it's always on head off in the history of our country that somebody resigns people know they resign for nigeria no, no, no. they prefer to die there you understand in the midst of allegations and everything so when when, when he, he said he was ill that is where i'm going when we now heard that okay he resigned everybody was curious was like let's scrutinize this is this is suspicious this is repetitious how can somebody that is accused of high-handedness that is accused of corruption that is accused of high level of nepotism that is accused of bastardizing the integrity and the image of the institution how can he resign then you now state it to two fat you understand one the letter from the 14th supreme court justices that accused him and like unlike the executive and uh, the legislative arm of governance you understand where you have senate president for the senate president and speaker for the assembly and you have the executive president and vice president for the executive in the judiciary all the all the 16 supreme court judges are equal it is just the cgn cgn just had a little advantage over them it is that nomenclature c 
that differentiating you understand mm. chief you understand that differentiating from the others but you now see a departure of the unity that always you understand around the cgs i mean the the, the supreme court justices he, they they felt you, you understand apart they felt ostracized this guy embarked on a spending spray you understand Finan spray. yes now financial know. impropriety you understand and he took over that, an acquisition that he, has for, he has been accused if 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 we are 16 and 14 of us are accusing only me you said this it remains an accusation if i did not do it would they accuse me so where we are going sir is the fact that after deep uh, scrutiny and after trying to reach out and see what actually transpired it was we were able to you understand gather information that the cdn did not actually resign he was forced yeah, yeah. to resign he, he was forced he time. was forced he was out Ill. of office he was Ill. excuse he me was we, Ill we know we know he has been ill but so, so excuse, me, years, I mean, excuse me Ill but the ill health has not prevented him from making public appearances when need arises you understand so using ill health as an excuse you understand did not hold water it is just an excuse you understand call a dog a bad name in order to hang it what actually happened was he was supposed to attend NJI uh, training program on Monday and he already he has been scheduled to attend the program you understand but on Sunday night we had information that some persons came to his residence whisked him away took him to an unknown le location gave him the letter to sign mandated him to sign without even giving him any chance to reach out to anybody because they said it was on the hand if you see the the the, the way and manner the president uh, already swear in the acting you understand justice Ariola, then you know that something is amiss because something everything, somebody gave you uh, the, the one of the highest uh, and eventually that is that is the height of Buhari's corruption you know anything that does anything apc touches you understand turns to turns to turn, turns to sort after somebody was forced to resign after somebody was accused of gross misconduct of i and then death of uh, you understand corruption you still now went to confer on him the gcun does it, that implicate it, it, the president yes now the president the, the president is aware of these corrupt charges against him so for the president to now even confer it on him that means the president is clapping and appreciating his corrupt practices that is the simple truth so and that is why uriwa and other concerned bodies are now saying he should not just be left to say he resigned alone he should be probed he should be arrested he should be made to face charges you understand the way or not or not guy was humiliated so if or not guy was humiliated just on flimsy corrupt charges it is not as humongous as this one you understand mm -hmm. it is not as i handed as this one they just want to face uh, or not get out of the system that time to pave way for a, a for a judiciary that they can manipulate you understand that was the Onoge case but this case is a clear case of fraud of corruption you understand and you, you and when you, you when you want to sanitize or reform an institution that is already going into extinction because of the ways and manner the cgn is handling it then it goes beyond the uh, conferring on him a gcun he has so to be arrested that that's confirming. and that is the pre that is our president for you now our president will yeah, always surprise you now. a man of integrity he, 2015, uh, 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 mr. integrity yes mr integrity or is there any other explanation to integrity to integrity i think integrity has a different definition in nigeria than in, in the other ABC, in you, you understand that in other people's other countries dictionary so our own integrity here is different you understand our integrity here as and i think you know what our integrity here portent so when you see anybody here now in nigeria under apc caught a man of integrity then you have to go back and sleep because it is just like if apc tells you good money you have to confirm apc <coughs> yes anything apc that, tells that, you that might be defamation yes now which defamation what have they said what have they done that is real what have they done that is sane what have they done that is rational everything they have been doing for the past six seven years has been upside down it has been always a departure of governance a departure of administration because why on earth will our president confer uh, the highest title in the <laughs> land on somebody alert for corrupt charges you understand so you know that that means the the president is complicit in the matter that means probably the president is benefiting from uh, proceeds from the corrupt 
practices of the CGN because what other best way to explain that somebody that is uh, shameful, somebody that should be in jail, somebody that should be in shackles now, you understand? Somebody that should be paraded. This is this is this is the height, the decade. In, in fact, in the letter uh, that was written by uh, the 14th Supreme Court justices, there is a phrase there, you understand, that is very, very catchy. They said, this is the peak of the degeneration of the court. It is the height of decadence and clear evidence of the absence of poverty and moral rectitude. And that is the person our president is conferring in the highest title in the land. On. I think the, the people in that presidency need their head examined because they are not doing... The people in the presidency. The pr people in the presidency. I did not mention president because he has people advising him now so are you telling me that he didn't have people that will tell him that mr president what you are about to do is wrong he's he's, he's making us a laughing stock every day he's he, he, he's bastardizing the, the fact and the little image we have amongst the committee of nations is fading out every day because of these steps we are taking that are monumental because confirming the is honor in the land on a corrupt official a corrupt judicial officer you understand an alleged, he, an, which alleged. Are, alleged if he did not do it they would not allege him now no, why there are you, things that people why did they why did, why, why did they not allege you of corruption remains, here it remains an allegation are you in that you see see let the court decide. you have an institution let the court decide you have a you know judiciary is an institution on its own and it's in and it's supposed to be autonomous it's supposed to be independent you understand and they have ways bureaucracies and ways and manners of doing things there but this judge and uh, this uh, uh this suspended i mean this resigned or uh, this forced out cjn you understand resign, resign, took resign. over everything including uh administering funds which is not even part of what he should do you I, understand I, I, he got involved in politics he got involved in politics to the extent that he has already settled mm -hmm. his family two of his children one is contesting for senate under apc the other is contesting for uh, house of friends under pdp and you wonder how the president can have the temerity the charisma the dexterity the the, the moral penumbra the sanity to confer such a person with the highest honor in the land. We need our head examined in this country. Something is seriously wrong with our sense of reasoning. Okay, let, let's go over to uh, uh, state governments are giving their civil servants and people a holiday to go get their PVCs. Imo State has done that, Osho State has done that, many other states have done that. And INEC is saying that they have registered 10.4 million uh, persons uh, uh, just for these few months that they started the registration. They are, they are looking at uh, 20 million 20 million new voters and it is encouraging if already you have 10.4 million new registered voters and that shows the consciousness that shows the belief that the youths are now realizing the need for them to participate in what affects their life you understand so it's good that the uh, state governments are giving out holidays so that pe more people will be registered let's, but let's our risk, problem risk, has always raised i neck raised i neck uh, i neck i neck what well, so far so far i so far i neck has not been able to meet the demands of the people because in all uh, virtually in all the places you have cases of shortage of uh, manpower shortage no no machine to capture you, so when you have more people you understand and this is an INEC that is not complaining of fund or logistics, you understand? So, rating INEC there is like rating INEC is like going to ATM machine to collect money. You now collect your money, you now thank ATM machine. So, there is no rating for INEC because they've not been able to meet up with the demands of the people. But we expect that in the coming days, since they have extended for 60 days for two months, you understand. They were expect that in the coming days they should be able to meet up with the demands of the people by providing the required logistics for Nigerians to meet up the new set deadline. Uh, let's start, let's go over. Uh, that we have um, court denies and Namdi Kanu bill. Uh, he was uh, he, he faced uh, his trial today in court and uh, he has been denied bail. This, I think this is the fourth time he has been denied bail. Uh, Justice Bint and Yaakov, the Federal High Court, Abuja, on Tuesday, turned down the bail request of the detained leader of the indigenous people, Biafra, Namdekanu. Justin Yaakov, in turning down the bail application, described it as an abuse of court process, stating that the court cannot continue to litigate on issues it had earlier ruled on. Kanu had, in a fresh application, prayed the court to release him on bail, pending the determination of his 
trial on alleged treasonable felony. Let's uh, look, take a look at that. Uh, he said the first time it was alleged that he jumped bail, the army had to go to his house and they killed many people. That's why he jumped bail. But mm. the court is not really uh, understand. No, does want to does want to accept that excuse. Let's 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 you know in everything that has to do with this country. Whenever you are addressing any issue that affects this nation, you have to look it from look at it from both uh, both perspectives. Like Edward Westermark said, you cannot say something is right or wrong, moral or evil, legal or illicit. It depends on your perception of it. Inam Dikanu is a prisoner of conscience, you understand? He's the most celebrated prisoner in the country. And as far as I'm concerned, you understand? Bearing any circumstance, whether foreseen or unforeseen, eh, I see Inam Dikanu remaining in prison.